there, folks. Welcome back to Are We There Yet? We're still with the Clyde. 17 games played now. See on your screens, 36 points, 2 points over Dundee United. Crucially, though, 16 points clear of Brecan in 5th place. So we're going to great guns. The bubble has yet to burst. Fixtures-wise, you saw us lose to Dundee United, a 2-0 reverse at Tenedice. Uh, following that, we, we actually lost again at Stranraa. Bit of a, a non-performance from ourselves. We, we certainly deserved more, but we, we never really got going. They scored from two. Uh, bobbles in the box from corners, free kicks. That was the, the day of uh, frustration. And I was a bit concerned that we might have, have uh, fallen off a bit. But no, we then played against Montrose. They started like a train. They've come to a shuddering halt, though. We crushed them four goals to nil. They did have a man sent off, but we were already 4-0 up at that point, so it had no real bearing. It just meant the game was over. And then we went to Arbroath. They were fourth at the time. They may still well be. But, we again, we, we ran out 4-0 winners. We were 3-0 up inside 15 minutes. You can see McCluskey, Datnovitz and Sean Burns with goals there. And then we won uh, against uh, Alloa. Two goals to nil, another brace from Sandy McCluskey. And then we had a triple bill against Airdrie. Now, one of these was a league game. That was the most important. And then we played two Scottish Cup ties. Uh, sadly, we weren't able to win a game. I thought we were going to be able to get a win on the board in the league game. You can see that there was a red card for Stephen Jap before Murray Loden followed him down the tunnel in the 61st minute. Uh, that meant we had to withdraw and essentially just settle for the point. Then we play them again in the cup, and you can see another red card. Martin Niffs dismissed, but this was late doors. Uh, Scott Linton missed a penalty, of all things. That should have taken us through, really, but it wasn't to be. We had a replay, and uh, it was all settled in the first half. Ninth minute, Jack Kiersey grabbing the only goal of the tie. In fact, three games against Airdrie. One goal in, uh, in a lot of football played, but yeah, Airdrie got the, the progression in that tie. Uh, it would have been nice to go a bit further. There's always a possibility, of course, of getting a big gun. Um, wasn't to be this time. Uh, let's see. Airdrie actually got... Uh, they got a, a trip to Motherwell, so that would have been quite tasty for us. Never mind. Never mind. We'd have got a decent crowd crowd money out of that, maybe. But never mind. Then we played Brecon uh, away. Two goals to two. Uh, annoying, because we were 2 up inside 11 minutes. Uh, you and Spark home goal before Datnovitz extending the lead, but then they equalised through Murray in the 20th minute, followed by McClear in the 52nd. It wasn't it wasn't a free-flowing performance. We've had a few issues in terms of, of injuries at central defence. You can see David Marsh, Leon Klaus, who's leaving the club, I'll come on to that in a minute, and McNiff, all injured. So it does mean today we're going to be going with McKendry. Of course, he is the main man, uh, alongside Adam Douglas, who hasn't really featured. You, I don't think he'll have seen him play. Uh, Leon Klaus, I don't think he's cut out for any level of football I, you know I know he was playing Premier League for Wales but the, the rating should have warned me he, he made one game you know I, I just don't think he's that good uh, he's leaving and this will probably tell you why he's you know what level he's going to he's joining Li, uh, Linlithgow Rose so I think I'm pretty sure that's a pub apologies if you're a Rose fan I don't know who you are uh, so yeah all in all still top of the league and, and that's nice. Look at that big blue bar there. 97% happiness from the board in terms of our performance in the League One. It would be delightful if we were able to stay here and get promoted automatically. But I, I fear if we are going to be involved in a promotion, it is going to have to be via a playoff. I just think that Dundee United are too strong. They'll beat us twice more. No problem. And yeah, you know, that that's what it's about. It's... Annoying as well that Sandy McCluskey won't sign a new deal, whatever we do. He's wanted by Hamilton and Hibernian, as you see on your screen. Someone's going to get him. If I was Celtic, I'd be straight in, but that's just me. I think he's a fab fabulous player. Um, one of the best regens or nugens I've had on any FM save, especially one at this kind of low level. I mean, look at him. Look at him. You're not telling me that if you were if you were a manager of a lower league Premier League club in England, You'd probably pick him up. You'd probably quite like him. That's that's just my opinion. I'm sure most people would agree. Uh, my myself, I myself have now completed my badge, so that's National B in the bag. What we are looking for now is National C. Uh, sorry, no, it's not. It's National A. Um, the ah, I know we have the three strike rule, but there's no way the board's going to commit to it with having a, a negative balance of 18k. If we, it, it's, it's, it's unwise to ask now. I'm going to ask now. National A license. Yeah, current financial situation, even though it's only about 900 quid. 
it hardly matters when you're 18 grand down, but I can understand it. So that's strike one for Clyde. I don't really want to leave at this stage. Um, if we have to, then we have to. Obviously, this is a journeyman, and we've only spent time at one club, so we're, we're struggling really in terms of calling this a journeyman, but that that is the idea that we will move around clubs, and I'm sure we will, in all honesty. The time will come when, when we just have to say goodbye to Clyde, uh, and that might well be when Mr. Sandy McCluskey leaves the club because he is clearly the best man uh, we've got. Clearly, by far and away, 15 goals this season. He's really stepping up. And, you know, it's going to be a shame when, when he actually leaves. But it's Livingston today. Let's let's focus on what we can do today. Adam Douglas gets the nod. Uh, Fraser Main comes onto the bench. And otherwise, I'll see you pitch side with the full lineup in just a second. So there's the teams then. It is McCluskey leading the line. Burns, Datnovitz, Loudon, Fleck, MacArthur, Wilson, McKendry, Douglas, Stokes and Curry in goal. Uh, for Livingston, it's, well, it's a team I, again, I apologise. I don't know much about, but they're going okay in the league. It, it really is. Uh, that's a great team talk from the assistant. Everyone's doing thumbs down to him. So that's good. We've managed to turn him around there. There we go. Fingers crossed, this is a big one for us. Livingston, obviously, uh, in third, 31 points at the moment with this draw, so they're on 30. Six points behind us. If we can beat them today, that really does, really puts us in a, a solid position for the, the final, probably half of the season or so. And Sean Wilson will take this throw in inside 10 minutes, gives it out to MacArthur, to Stokes. He has Loudon out right. He goes back to Stokes, uh, sends Loudon uh, down a blind alley by the look of it. MacArthur, though, into Fleck. He's got a ball onto Datnovitz, who finds Burns, but it's well saved by McCallum. That's a good move from Clyde. Good opening signs, good early signs. Burns will take this corner. We don't expect much from this. Uh, goes all the way out to Loudon, though. And uh, a bit of a, a pass on the blind side of Datnovitz, and it, this will come to nothing. Not bad. Over well, half an hour in, nothing's happened since that Burns strike on net. Uh, tight game so far. We're, we're edging it possession-wise, but chances are... Obviously not quality chances, but chances are coming to both sides. Uh, three shots on target apiece, but that'll be half time. Uh, not a great game so far, but a, a game that we're certainly in. I think we'll tell the lads that we can certainly win this if we maintain our efforts. We've certainly got the players out there to win. We've already beaten Livingston once, of course. A 2-0 victory on our travels. And uh, given uh, our, what's the word, our limited options in, in defence, it, it's probably... Uh, we're not as strong as we were uh, coming into the earlier games this season. So into the hour then, you can see uh, rating-wise, Sean Burns is having a bit of a poor game. He's already been booked. I think we'll bring on Malcolm Moore and uh, try him at left left wing. Uh, just a little over 20 minutes to play. It really has been quite a dull game. I'm glad we did a little bit of build. I, haven't been, I thought I had um, uh, uh, Ferguson on the bench, but I don't. So I'll have to keep Loudon out there. He's not having a great game. Equally, McCluskey's not having a great game, but that 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 is what it is. I think we'll bring on Barry for uh, for Fleck, and just hope that the extra experience from Baza can can unlock the door. We'll tell him to get a bit creative because we've seen little of it. Oh, we, we we had something then, but then it disappeared when I clicked to have a shout. Not sure. Must have been nothing. Uh, Douglas gives it to Loudon. Went to the last ten minutes, so a goal here for either side is critical. Absolutely crucial. That's a bit of a nothing ball into the channel. Hopefully this doesn't lead to a Livingston goal. Uh, we lost the ball there. We really shouldn't have a bit of a stationary jump from uh, McKendry, I think it was. That's a good ball there. McCluskey is in behind, is he? No, he's well tackled, well seen away. And uh, Livingston clear. Douglas is there. Datnovitz does well to get back in front of his man. Uh, is more to McCluskey. The chance is still alive. Datnovitz, oh, he should have done better with that. A couple of inches over the crossbar, apparently. And now it starts to open up. McCallum takes a goal kick. From the resulting uh, play, Wilson heads down, but it's not our ball. And here they come. They found a way inside. I think MacArthur, though, retrieves the situation and gives it to Curry, who finds Stokes to MacArthur. He's still in that position. Curry. He's got, we've got an option out right. If we go that way, we don't. We go left, and there's no one there. And I fear the worst here is uh, Denham. Brings the ball under his spell and goes all the way back to Bradley. That's a ball into a channel that we do not like. It's crossed and it's it's hit home by Nick Ross. That's pretty poor. That's pretty poor from us. We've not really we've only we're the only side that's had the clear cut chance and we find ourselves behind at home. We it's the defence I think you know we we don't have the quality in the defence apart from McKendry, especially with Marsh out injured and. Uh, 
well, to concede a goal like this, it was pretty much all of our own making. You can see Stokes gets caught in between two and under the ball and uh, he's unable to recover. We've got five minutes to try and retrieve the situation. I don't think we're going to be able to do it. We just don't have the, don't have the quality on the pitch. Uh, we'll get Ronnie Fox on. Uh, just for a bit of exuberance. He's been quite good in some games. When we, we used him in the Cup games against Airdrie and he was okay. So we'll give him a go. And we, Well, maybe there's a chance to uh, try and preserve a... Oh, Wilson's picked up a knock now. Here's more to Wilson, to Fox. Here's more. He finds the channel for McCluskey, but he's isolating... Oh, my word. That'll do. I think that sums up the afternoon. Disappointment all round for the Bully Wee. A 1-0 defeat, it seems. It's going to be at the least... Uh, to Livingston, uh, a near rival in Livingston as well, and that that really does bunch Clyde, Dundee United, and Livingston all up on uh, in those top three positions. Here's McCluskey. Is there a chance for us? I don't think there's going to be. McCluskey's had a bit of a dull day. I uh, find Stokes though out right, and well, if McCluskey's effort didn't sum up the day, I think the Stokes's effort there surely does. That's one of the worst strikes in the human history of the world. My word. And that will be game. Really disappointing. I'm sure you'd agree. Really underwhelming. I think we have to be a bit more, you know. Um, yeah, I don't know why Curry thinks that was good. Uh, he didn't make a save as far as I'm concerned. He got 7.1. Hmm. Still, any game where we lose is at home is not an acceptable performance. Fortunately, we've got four far next and we always beat four far at the moment. That's a twisted knee for Sean Wilson, and yeah, it was a it was a poor performance. But again, the defensive injuries keep continue to pile up. You can see uh, Marsh is out for another four weeks. Wilson's now out for ten days or so. McNiff's out for three weeks, and Klaus is out for four weeks. I mean, he'll be gone before that injury subsides. So it's going to have to be Adam Douglas, and he's 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 generally worse than when no defender really. So we've got the transfer window coming up. I probably won't dip into it because the money's the money is there, but the money's not there. If uh, if you get my meaning, we've got a transfer budget, but apparently we haven't got enough money to send me on a course. So we have to be realistic and say let's keep the money. And you know, if it means falling down a few places in the league, then it means falling down a few places in the league. You know, this is a journeyman. It's not Clyde Rice to the top. Um, it'd be nice if it was both, but it, it's unlikely to be. You know. It's just one of them things. I'm rambling because I'm a bit disappointed that we we failed to beat Livingston. I thought we'd get something, and I thought we were I thought we were worthy of a point minimum given the our, the quality of our play. But hey ho, that's what it is. Uh, the fans are less than happy with Adam Adam Douglas. Well, so am I. I mean, you know, I mean he's hardly played, so I don't know why you you're jumping on that. Um, yeah, I mean he can't dribble, so he's got a one for dribbling. As a footballer, you'd think as an outfield player, you'd think you'd have a better than better than a one in everything, pretty much. I can forgive the free kicks and the and the long throws and maybe even penalty taking, but dribbling surely, surely he's asked to dribble the ball every now and then. But there we go. Right, so we'll be back. We, we we'll go again. We'll be back for what shall we do? Where where on earth are we? I think what we'll do is we'll return for. Whew, Quite a few games to come, isn't there? So we're out of the cups, obviously. So it is just league focus. I think we'll come back for our growth at home. That's a few games away. It gives us a chance to see if we are maintaining a title charge or if we're going to fall away. Obviously, we've got big games against Dundee United and uh, Full Far, obviously, next. Then uh, a couple of winnable games, perhaps Montrose and Stranraer. And then our growth will be a decent encounter. So we'll go again against our growth. Hopefully, we'll be back on the winning straight and narrow by that time. Do pop a like on the video if you've enjoyed and subscribe for far more content. I'll see you again on the very next video. Goodbye.